Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to model different kind of foundations in Fem Design software. For foundations, we have isolated foundation, we have wall foundation, and we have foundation slab. We are going to start with the foundation slab. Modeling foundation slab is exactly uh, the same than modeling plane plate, so we are not going to look at too much of that, but when you open default settings in foundation slab, you will find that from the general tab, you can also set the petting modulus uh, for your su support under your foundation slab. You can set the petting modulus for vert vertical direction, x direction, and y direction. You can also apply insulation under your foundation slab here. And for the other parts, it's the same than uh, default settings in a plane plate. You will have basic slab properties, you will have material selection, and your stiffness modifier factors here. I'm just gonna press OK from here, and now I am gonna model my foundation slab. And you can see that I have concrete, uh, plate here, but I also have a uh, surface support under it. Next, we are going to look in the wall foundation. With wall foundation, it's uh, pretty simple to define. It's same as if you would def uh, define a beam, but when you open the default settings, you will find that from the general tab, you will also have uh, petting uh, models settings, but you will also have analytical system to be set up to be line support group or surface support group that I'm going to show the difference in a while. Uh, also, you will have the insulation option for wall one foundation too. Otherwise, you have the section to be selected materials here and stiffness modifier factors and also you will have end conditions for your wall foundation. I'm just gonna set one section here quickly so I can model this and for this I'm gonna select line support group. I'm just gonna draw this here and now I can see that I also have line support under my beam there. For this example, I'm going to also model the service support group foundation here. And now you can see that I have a service support, which is which looks exactly exactly the same that uh, under that foundation slab. Next, we are going to check the isolated isolated foundation tool here. Uh, isolated foundation, you can use it under the column, like you can see here. Uh, modeling isolated foundation is pretty simple. You select the define tool and you start your defining by selecting first corner of your isolated foundation, then the second corner and the middle point of your support. And now you can see that in my default settings, I had the surface support on. So I'm going to go here and it looks exact, exactly the same that for wall foundation. And however, here you can select between point support group or surface support group. Otherwise, it has petting models for vert vertical direction. It has insulation or you can apply insulation here. In the geometry tab, you can set up the thickness uh, of your isolated foundation and you can select either you want plint or what is the geometry of that plint. And for the material, you have the basic selection here. I'm gonna uh, model one with the point support group here. I'm gonna do the same that I did it for the first time. Like, but now you can see that here I have the survey support, 
group and here I have the point support under isolated foundation. But here's all for this video. I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next one.